Hi, my name is Brent Atwater and I'm the animal medium. That's right. I look at, see, and talk to deceased pets face to face and we call that animal spirits. So today's question is when I'm connecting and communicating with my animal, how can I remove negative energies or entities if I feel it's there from my space and what do I do when there's negative energy around me? Well, we've got three or four different answers. Number one, Use the protection prayer on page 94 of my book, After Death Signs from Pets in Heaven. And it's, I think it's on page 83 in my Animal Reincarnation book. Um, number two, you can use this prayer. I ask, it is my intent, and I command any and all energy and entities that are not for my highest and best good to leave my space now, forevermore, and always. So be it, it is done. I ask, and it is my intent, and I command any and all energy or entities that are not for my highest and best good to leave my space now, so be it, it is done. Now, I usually say that three times because three is a universal number, and you have dominion over the universe since you're in the earth school, evolving your soul and in a physical body. So the first time, it's like, do you hear me? The second time is, this is definitely what I'm saying, and the third time is, out of here, out of here, better be out of here. So I use it simply because I like three as a universal number and it focuses me and it makes sure that there is no misunderstanding of my intent. Be gone. Now the second and third prayer that you can say is, I command you to leave my space now forevermore and always. I command any and all energy and entities to leave my space now forever and always. always. So what you want to do is you use the word energy and entities. Now that doesn't mean that you're all you know, swamped with ghosts and things like that. But an entity can be particles, it can be orbs, so energies can be orbs. So what you want to do is cover your bases of everything. See? So I command any and all energies and entities out of my space now, forevermore, and always. I command any and all energy and entities out of my space now, forevermore, and always. And that gets rid of the electromagnetic things that are in your uh, space and environment. The uh, first prayer you can use to clear houses, cars. Um, when I go to a hotel, I always say, I ask and it is my intent to release, remove, and detach any and all energy or entities that are in room 10 um, that are not for my highest and good, best good, so be it, it is done. And that way, when I get into the room, it's nice, it's filled with loving, high, pure, positive energy. And that's a good thing to do. So you don't have to sage. You can use these prayers and they'll do the same thing. And the last prayer is shield, shield, shield. Real simple. Just simply say shield, shield, shield when you're going places. Because what that does, it sets an intent of a shield, like a little mirror cocoon, to go over your personal energy space in your art field or your, you know, the energy that emanates from you. So... Number one, I ask and it is my intent to remove, release, and detach any and all energies and entities that are not for my highest and best good. So be it. It is done. Then the second one is, I command you out of my, uh, command any and all energy and entities out of my space now, forevermore, and always. So be it. It is done. And the third one is, shield, shield, shield. And the fourth one is the protection prayer that's all-encompassing. And you say, well, when do I use these? Well, I wake up every morning and use protection prayer because it just saves going through the rest of the day without being protected. And you go, well, I cover myself with white light. And, well, I cover myself with certain words. It's very important that you use very specific words because the specificity sets the intent and what the energy will manifest. And a lot of people say, well, I changed those up just a little bit and it didn't work. Uh, you think? That's because you change it up a little bit. I mean, these are tried and tested over about 20 years worth of stuff, and it works. So that's the important thing. And what you want to do, and you go, well, why should I have to do that? You know, why? Well, um, negative energy is real. And I just feel if you can spend, you know, a minute a day brushing your teeth, then you can spend a minute a day shielding your body in this big wide world with all that's going on. And that's, I believe, that if you have a gift or if you're sensitive, that that's the least you can do to protect yourself. And it's also the most you can do to protect yourself. All this other is um, external, and this is set the intent of your soul that encapsulates your body, and therefore you're definitely protected. So I hope that helps today, and I'll look
look forward to seeing you next week. Now, if you want to send in your question, come on. You can send it to me on Twitter, Instagram. You can send it to us in our Facebook. It's listed below in our group. Or you can send it to me on my website. Also, we invite you to listen to our sister station, PetLifeRadio.com. We have lots of podcasts over there 24-7 that will help heal your heart. And check out the archives below. Good stuff. And if you don't see something, send me your question. And I really appreciate from my heart, my heart to your heart. Thank you, everybody, so much for all of your thoughtful comments and kind remarks about how this is helping you get through losing a pet and learning how to communicate and connect with them. It touches my heart that you send those to me and my heart to yours. Thank you. It makes getting up every day and doing these really worthwhile because sometimes, you know, when you're all by yourself, you wonder, is it doing any good? And then you send the email from all over the world. And I know that as long as I can keep doing this, I'm going to keep on because it's helping. And every day and every time I do one of these for your information is I say a little prayer. Dear God, please allow this video to touch the lives that it's supposed to benefit. And if yours was today, then I hope it helps you. Thanks so very much for listening. See you next week. Bye, bye, bye.